everybody, it's Jade, and it's been a while since you guys saw a video of me. I have been very busy and a bit overwhelmed the past few months, so it's been taking a while for me to get to it and to start recording again. But I couldn't let this video pass, because this video celebrates the year anniversary of being on HRT for me. It's been a year since I started HRT. And that past year has been amazing. It's one of the weirdest years I've ever, ever encountered. Not just due to HRT, but also due to the whole Corona stuff that's happening outside. It's an amazing year. It was an amazing experience. It's still an amazing experience because you're never really done with HRT. But I couldn't let this pass by without making a video about it. The thoughts that I had on starting this journey, on starting my transition was that HRT was the holy grail, the thing to strive to, the thing that will make everything better. Do you know what the weird thing is? It wasn't. Don't get me wrong, HRT is amazing. And it's something that should be available to all trans people who want access to it. Within our community, we have this tendency to put HRT on a pedestal, make it seem like it's the holy grail for trans people, that it's the thing that will make you feel better about yourself and about the way you look and the way you act. And in my experience, that's not the case. The past year has had a focus on three things, actually, for me. Of course, there was HRT. HRT is something that I'm reminded of two times a day when I have to take the pills. And it's a continuously going process. HRT put me on a second puberty, where I started growing breasts. It put me on a more feminine pattern using my emotions. It's put me in more of a general feminine state of mind. Something that aligns with something that I felt for very long but couldn't express due to the testosterone that was raging through my body. But HRT isn't the only thing that helped me become who I am and become as comfortable with who I am as I am right now. There was no speech therapy. Speech therapy is something that's so overlooked by a lot of people. More of like something, yeah, I'll do that. Or I can do that myself. And I can tell you, the speech therapy is on par with the HRT. It requires a lot of exercise. It required a lot of exercise. It still does for me. But it really helps me in getting my voice to the point where I want it. And for people who don't maybe not see my face, maybe not see my body type at this point, interpret me more femininely and hence use the right pronouns and give me the tools to express myself, which is something that I desperately want and desperately need. And then there is laser hair removal. The euphoria I get from not having to shave every single day is amazing. I mean, I'm not there yet. There are still moments where I have to shave, but I went from once, maybe twice a day, to once a week, which is such a vast difference. My skin calmed down, no more ingrown hairs that bothered me. My fiberbox shadow that I had a year ago is almost entirely gone. I am in such a good place. In this video, it's important for me to talk to you about what helped me in this year of transition, in this year of, in this year of, well, in this year of transition. It doesn't start when you take hormones. Transition starts before that. The moment you realize you're trans and that you can be honest about your feelings. But this past year has been about a physical transition for me. And that year has been an amazing year. It's gone so fast. There are things about this year that I want to talk about. Like, in this year I discovered why HRT is so important, but also that it's not the most important thing out there. There is the laser hair removal, there is the voice training. That's all important, it's, it's a packaged deal. You can't, if you want the best results, if you want the, well, I don't want to use the word best results, but if you, to me, in my experience, it's the combination of the three, the, the effect of the three combined, that's really doing it. So to any trans person who's watching it, HRT, yes, it's going to help you feel better, but don't, don't, don't think the other things aren't important. Consider them. If you have the option and you want to do it, go do them. Have, do your voice training, do your laser hair removal, just, it helps. 
at least it did for me. So I hope it will help for you as well. Another thing this year that was like weird for me, another thing that I did felt special. And that had everything to do with the pandemic that's happening right as of now. Like a recent example, I started officially changing my gender marker on my birth certificate and officially changing my names. But in my head, there was still the idea I had to go to my city of birth. I had to meet with somebody from the city council and this whole thing about it, like I had to sign an official paper, which all felt like I do that and afterwards we're gonna get a drink to celebrate, you know? In reality, due to the pandemic, the whole situation was different. It was more, well, digital. As in, I got an email with a form to sign, some documents to scan and send back. It was done in five minutes. There was nothing celebratory about it. It just happened. And of course, I have my partner. My partner was overjoyed for me. But it's not, it's missing some celebration aspect, like getting a drink to celebrate. The same happened when I started HRT. I started HRT and when I started HRT, these are the pills, enjoy. My partner was happy for me, but that was it. There was nothing to celebrate there. I couldn't have friends over. I couldn't share this with the world. And I want to share this with the world. So to anyone who's been watching, thank you for helping me, witnessing my transition, also helping me celebrate and put out my message in the world at this point, because believe it or not, <laughs> The 75 people that subscribe to me at this point to me feel like a big accomplishment and they feel like people I can share this with and people who are interested and people who've made this year a lot better and feel more like I could celebrate with you guys. I could share with you guys. I can celebrate my victories. I can share my losses. Like for example, what happened to my mother and my frustrations. And now that I'm in a year of HRP, I don't want to give that up. I want to keep making videos. There are of course still things coming. There are certain surgeries that I want. But in order to do that, I have to lose weight. I'm working hard on that, and I'm going to make an entire video about that. And about what this channel is going to be. So for now, I just want to thank all of you for being here with me, for celebrating this with me for sharing with me, for living with me and my experience. Because yes, it's been a year for me, but during that year, you guys have also been there and you guys made my life a lot more bearable in these weird times. You made my transition something that I could share with people and they could talk to people. So thank you all for being here and well, welcome to my first birthday. Bye-bye.